I've got like four channels loaded up and X split, so it's like, okay, which one am I doing tonight? So I'm posting a really stupid deck in our chat. <laughs> this is what I'm going to be playing against Navalis week one. Oh. Isn't that your job? In, uh... Is it wild? In the wild. In wild. Tournament. Don't... Yeah. Wild's just... It's just too topsy-turvy for me to... No, there's too much topsy-turvy in standard. Hey! <laughs> hey! No, there's not enough topsy turvy. I want. I love when people play that deck because they don't know how to. Oh, you should have. Did you? Uh, I should have posted the uh, the most recent dog clip where he pushes through three uh, void walkers plus a void lord and the tokens that come off the void walker. Lord. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that. <laughs> My jeez. And, and he's the only geez. like. I mean, he had like tw there's twenty been seconds a lot to spare of... too. <laughs> There's been a lot of people trying to figure that deck out, and they just can't. I mean, you're talking about, like, Trump. Um, uh, like Tice tried to play with it a bit. Um, who else? D uh, Disguised Toast is like, I don't know how anybody even plays this stupid deck. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, God, what was it? Uh, Trolden's video. Was showing, that was, hilarious. was showing that clip of uh, of dog, and then it cuts over, and it's like showing uh, you know Reddit links, like, "Oh, this deck's so easy, anybody can do it." Easy, anybody yeah. Can do it. And then it cuts <laughs> to a montage of like toast, yeah, of just people Trump just screwing and Savits, and they're just all like, <laughs> Savits, I don't "That's who it was. That's who it was. Savits. That's the one I couldn't remember." <laughs> they get it right so often. Yeah. All right. Uh, I need to go ahead and close Hearthstone until we get later in the show. Although we don't have a whole lot of news to talk about, I think we'll get to the deck analysis pretty quick. This could be a pretty quick show tonight. Yay. Good. Get I need to pack, and I that, didn't get that. Azeroth needs me. <laughs> I'm uh, flying out to um, Smith Mountain Lake, Virginia this weekend, so. Oh, cool. Uh, and then. Uh, driving down to Knoxville on Saturday. Nice. Say hi to Kane for me. <laughs> come, come play in our tournament. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll be in Knoxville Saturday, too. Yeah. I, I got to get out of here just after 8 o'clock in the morning oh. and get for breakfast. Speaking of, I don't know if I can show you on stream. I'll, I'll show you after the show, but a friend of mine actually uh, saw Kane yesterday um, just driving down the street. Cool. See. But did he have, did he, did, was, it, was his music playing just blasting out of the car? That would have been hilarious. I would, I, like, I could, I could see that. It's, it was a. Uh, let me see if I can find the picture. I, think. I mean, he's he's lived in Teleco Village for years, hasn't he? Uh, no, he lives up north, just north of Knoxville. But when he was wrestling no, in the nineties, uh, I thought Mark. I, Cal I know Mark Calloway lived in. I know Mark Calloway did, but I thought he lived with Mark Calloway for like a couple years. I don't know. All right. I'm going to pull this over so you guys can see it on. Oh, he's in his mayoral car. Yeah, but look at the car. It's. Oh, my God. A smart car. <laughs> and if you look real close, you can see he's literally like all the way back. Like How? The seat all How? The way back. Oh, my God. How, How does he fit in that car? <laughs> <laughs> if he can fit in that car, I guess I can. Hey, babe. You know the wrestler Kane? Huh? You know the wrestler Kane? He ran for mayor? <laughs> Somebody got a picture of him driving his, his mayoral car. And it's a smart car. One of those tiny ones. That big dude. <laughs> yeah. yeah that, <laughs> my wife's crunches down. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to, wanted to share that with you guys because I thought it was hilarious. That's too funny. 
That's funny. All right. Well, I got 731. As soon as Hearthstone finishes crashing. There we go. <laughs> My clients Small indie like program. PC. Small, right. indie, small indie developer. Small indie company. 6.9. Yeah. All right. Uh, starting in 5, 4, 3, 2. And we have no audio yet again. All right. What's going on? Why is the media not starting over? Right. It's not my fault. Try again. Three, two. <laughs> Welcome to Hero Power. I'm your host, Avantes, and as always, I am joined by my co-hosts, Zeroshio. What is up, gang? And Matt at Arms. Big mayor in a tiny car. <laughs> Big mayor in a tiny car. Yeah. How's it going, guys? It's, it's going. It's going. So, uh, I, we want, were... I, I want... Uh, we were talking about Kane, our mayor... And I, I want him to get out of that tiny little smart car, raise his hands up, and do the cane downward and his alarm sets. <laughs> <laughs> Go click. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I just that's the image I have now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it's uh, it's pretty funny. Uh, and I'll uh, I'll re I'll tweet out the photo, but. You guys know Knox, the city of Knoxville just elected Glenn Jacobs, a.k.a. Kane from WWE, to be our mayor. And uh, a friend of mine was driving down one of the main thoroughfares here in Knoxville yesterday and pulled up beside him at a red light. And he's six foot seven, six foot eleven. Six so foot he's eight. huge. He's huge. And he's driving this little smart car. Lily me smart car. It's hilarious. The picture's just funny. I'll, I'll tweet it out after the show. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, so we got a great show lined up for you today. A little bit of news, and then we're going to focus on uh, one of the decks that uh, a lot of people have been playing since the release of Boomsday, and uh, that is the Priest Mechathun. So we'll get into that here a little later. Uh, we don't have any emails or iTunes reviews this week. So, guys, don't forget, we love to hear from you. We love the interaction. Also, I want to apologize. Uh, the last couple of weeks, we've had some issues with our RSS feed. So, the episodes probably just got to your podcatchers yesterday. And uh, you would have probably been hit with three weeks worth of episodes back to back to back. So, I want to apologize for that. I'm 95% sure I've got all the issues worked out. So... You know, if, if you guys get this episode tomorrow morning on Thursday, then we know all is good and right with the world again. So, See, and now I'm nervous because before you told me you were 99% sure. <laughs> now you're only 95% sure. Don't you it know RSS is down. magic and unicorns? That's <laughs> you right. only do so much. By the, end of, by the end of the show, it'll be about 75%, I'm sure. <laughs> before, for our viewers, though, if, if there's ever a time that you're not seeing our uh, – our show on the uh, on your iTunes or our RSS catcher. Uh, feel free to go to HeroPowerHS.com where that week's show will be right on the front of the page. That's right. Never any issues there. So. Yep. All right. So let's just jump right into the news. You guys uh, who may have listened to or watched last week's episode know that uh, we played Whizbang the Wonderful during the play portion mm -hmm. of the show last week. And we talked quite a bit about this card because 
a lot of people have labeled it a meme card. They're like, oh, it's no good. It's a meme card. You don't know what you're getting. It's 18 decks. Only so many of them are good. Blah, 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 blah. We went two and one with it on the show last night at rank five on the ladder. You know who did even better? RDU. Why? Because RDU hit number one legend with Whizbang. Now, granted, yep. he was there and he played a couple of games with it. But still, that's not the point. The point is, RDU hit number one legend. <laughs> he, he, he got number one legend and he kept it while still playing Whizbang decks. Uh, I still say that Whizbang, well, it's not your, it's not going to have the best decks. Uh, I, I, have kept about a 60 between 60 and 65 percent win rate with the Whizbang decks. I say at least half the decks are good decks, and I would say all of the most recent Boomsday recipes are, are good enough to climb. Uh, only the Witchwood ones fall short. Um, but that that being said, if you've crafted Whizbang, try it on the ladder, especially if you're a rate floor, you'll be pleasantly surprised. Yeah, uh, Matt, you got any thoughts about Whizbang? No, it's it's still good. It's still a good card, and yeah, you know, later if you didn't seriously for the brawl, I'm getting ahead of ourselves. But for the brawl, if you just want to get your free one free one out, just go ahead and drop them in there and go. That's that's true. Um, now, no actual physical proof of this yet, but the final design team for Hearthstone is in charge of, you know, final polish. And I'm pretty sure they're also involved with the creation of the deck recipes. Yes. If, if that is true and that is the case, you guys have to realize that these decks have the have potential of having a pro Hearthstone player behind their creation in Chalky. Because that is what he does for Blizzard. Mm -hmm. That is his job. So these decks aren't just thrown together by developers. They're potentially thrown together by a pro player, which is why these decks work the way they do. So, all right. Anyway, moving on. Uh, if you guys missed BlizzCon tickets when they went on sale the first two times, Maybe the third time's the charm because you are going to get a third chance at Blizzard t at BlizzCon tickets this Saturday, August the 18th. Do you guys know yep. what time those are going on sale? I believe uh, that's at 10 a.m. Uh, it says it in the link. Uh, I want to say it was 10 a.m. Pacific time, but I will yeah, double check usually, that. Yeah, usually it's about 10 a.m. Pacific, but... Yeah. Yes. August 18th at 10 a.m. PDT. Okay. And so that's 1 o'clock Eastern, 12 o'clock Central, 11 o'clock Mountain. Don't yep. miss it. And go. now they did this last year, but they did this because uh, the convention center actually expanded and they bought up that extra space because it would be done by BlizzCon. They didn't say why they've been able to sell extra tickets. It could be another situation or they went off the model last year and then forgot about the extra seats. I don't know. But uh, the fact that they're doing a third round of tickets, uh, while I bought an extra ticket, so a friend of ours was able to buy those that one from me, there are some tickets out there you can get. Uh, if you haven't, this is the best time to do it because uh, I'm not sure how many people are going to be at this time trying to get those tickets. But definitely get there. And if you go to BlizzCon... Let us know. Shoot us an email here at Hero Power. I'm going to be there uh, for the whole event, starting Thursday night at uh, uh, Con Before the Storm. I'll be attending that as well. Feel free to come come and hang out and say hi, and and, and it's going to be a blast. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, the next bit of news is, as some of you may have heard on social media, um, Ben Brode's new company, Second Dinner, has 
made another couple of acquisitions from the former uh, from his former colleagues. He has added uh, Hearthstone former Hearthstone lead uh, producer Yang Wu and former Hearthstone concept artist Jamaro Kindred. So, as well as an engineer, Mark Schweitzer. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> now, there's uh, Mark Schweitzer is also on that team. He used to be on the WoW team and now uh, and was recently on Team Five uh, as an engineer. So they're filling their ranks at Second Dinner. Uh, still haven't announced any projects, but they're all listed as, as founders. So, yeah, I had more talent over there and talent that we've been following through hearthstone for years now I, these are big names i'm really excited to see what happens with this yeah it's one of those things where the fact that yeah young Wu, i kind of expected especially since you haven't really heard from him in the last couple sets at least since blitz since blizzcon last year he's kind of fallen off the radar but uh the big one for me is jamaro jamaro is huge yes he's, if you're not familiar with jamaro you should watch the Mean Streets of Gadgets and release, where he kind of made his debut, and as well as um, the PAX panel from this year, for this mm -hmm. set, he was phenomenal in both those. And he's a, ma and he's a major team. He, he was, I think, wasn't he like concept, like lead concept designer? Yes. For yeah, he, he was actually on the uh, concept design panel for Hearthstone at BlizzCon last year as well. Okay. Yeah, so getting Jamaro is huge to me. Because the fact that, okay, he's only been there for a, a couple years, I think. Just what, from what I saw on his Facebook post that he t linked to on his tweet. But, yeah, the fact that they have this, we have this small team of five now, from Team 5, I just can't wait to see what's going to happen. And I have a sneaking suspicion, and it's real outside shot, that... um Ben Brode is going to announce something here at PAX Dev at the end of the month. Like I said, it's like probably outside like 20 to 1 shot. Yeah, if you hadn't heard, he is giving the keynote speech at that convention. So That would be really interesting. And we see Anjan San in chat says, uh, bye, Yang Wu. You can say bye, Yang Wu, but I'm going to say welcome, Yang Wu, because as of now, just about anything that Second Dinner is selling, I'm buying. And they haven't even told me what it is yet, and I will probably support it just because of the staff that they've they've accrued. It's like an all-star staff of game designers. Anything they create is – I don't care if it's a 3D version of Solitaire. I will probably buy it. Interesting. <laughs> I, I may not buy a 3D, 3D version of Solitaire, but I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited to see what hey, – I bought 3D chess back in the day. I'm going to buy 3D Solitaire, <laughs> all right? Battle chess on the Nintendo. Come on. There we go. That's about my speed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the Queen coming in. Anyways. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> so, um, you know, we have the first major uh, post Boomsday tournament this weekend in Knoxville, the Hero Power Level Up tournament. So, oh, oh yes. wait, is that that's not the tournament we're talking about, though, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, um, no, but it is one. But for it, this will be the first. Well, technically, Seat Story was the first big tournament, but this will be the first major tournament that get major meaning that it awards eight CT points, uh, and that's the Copa America uh, in Argentina. Yeah, and uh, they released the deck lists today. Um, big shout out to uh, Inked. Uh, he uh, posted those in the Hero Power Discord this afternoon, right after they, they dropped. So we were able to kind of browse through and see what all everybody was bringing. And uh, one of the and I names, love Muzzy. I the, love yeah, Muzzy. Yeah, so... Uh, <laughs> One of the names at the top of the list, obviously, is always Amnesiac. And so I kind of just browsed through and noticed he's bringing three even decks to this tournament. Mm -hmm. And then you've got... An odd rogue. 
somebody like Muzzy, who's got that meat wagon mechano egg paladin. So, I mean, there's Which, some really interesting stuff we're going to see. Yeah, I've been following this meat wagon mechano egg uh, uh, paladin since Jackie Chan kind of made the first version that he played over in uh, Sea Story. And it, he called it meat and eggs. And this one is, has slightly been modified a little bit, but it's the same concept. That deck is very strong, and I still play it on the ladder. Yeah, I I played Muzzy's uh, Meat Wagon Paladin last night uh, for a bit, and I was strong. just... I was very strong. I got I actually got me up to rank six, um, and I was just... I was eating druids for breakfast with my eggs. When you get these huge magnetized eggs back from your Kangor's Endless Army, and then they're just going to drop out 8-8s, I mean, what does your opponent do at that point? Because he can't clear the board because it's going to fill up with 8-8s. But that he can't is... tend with a bunch of 5 attack and 7 attack minions, so... Well, that and, like, they tend to ignore your meat wagon a lot. So yes. then, like, and then that curves right, right into Mr. Wargear. So yeah. you can magnetize your war gear and have a six nine meat, it, meat wagon. And the great thing about the great so. thing about meat wagon and a lot of meat wagon decks when you got rid of, when you've already used your zero attack minions, the meat wagon was a dead card. But in this, once you magnetize your meat wagon to buff up the attack, you can then recruit minions that are you know four attack, three attack, five mm -hmm. attack in some cases. So uh, that kind of adds more versatility to meat wagon the fact that it's a mech like i said just a strong strong mid-range deck it's very fun i love playing that deck it's good to see mid-range get its heyday again yeah mid-range <laughs> <laughs> i'm i'm you're you're gonna get me i'm i'm a huge fan of uh of mid-range i've always enjoyed the mid-range style over I guess mid range would always be my first love, followed by tempo, and then control, and then aggro. But you know, I'll play anything. But I love yeah, see, mid range. I I like control, and mid range is a very close second. And then of course, then I get into OTK is my is my favorite right after that. And then how far down is aggro? <laughs> yeah, my favorite my favorite decks are decks with thirty cards in them. There you go. You know my favorite decks. My my favorite decks are ones with one card in them, and that's yeah, Whiz we Bang. Go. <laughs> I, was, I was fixing to say you heard it here first. Matt discriminates against Whiz Bang because it only has one card in it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but, all so right. speaking of Whiz Bang, again, uh, we have the Tavern Brawl this week, and it is a standard Brawlicium. Welcome back, Gladiator. Build a deck for standard format this time and compete for glorious prizes. Now, this is a tournament-style tavern brawl like we've seen in the past. Uh, it's very similar to Arena where you play till you get three losses and or up to 12 wins. Um, and you get rewards kind of like you're doing Arena. And it's 150 gold to get in, but the very first one this week is free. The thing is, you have to build a standard deck, and Whizbang is legal. You could just play a Whizbang deck if you want to. Have either your guy, uh, either of you guys, done this yet, Matt? Uh, I'm about to. And about when we get done with the deck, when we're talking about the deck, we're, I'm, I'm going to jump right in with the deck we're talking about. Nice. Okay, there you go. Have so, you, Avantis? Um, I have not had a chance yet. I do know I am going to try this with um, the uh, Professor Putricide Secret Hunter that has <laughs> kind of cropped up. That I feel like that deck kind of adapts well to anything you throw at it. Uh, in fact, Matt and I had a really good uh, duel last night where he was playing... Um, mech power. I was playing. Actually, I was whiz banging you. Okay, you were whiz banging me. Okay. Yeah. And uh, I was playing the Professor Future Side Secret Hunter and got way behind early, and then the deck was able to just turn it around and uh, come back for the win. So it, it's a lot of fun. Avanti's got. got Avanti's got whiz banged so all I guess, night long. So I, so I guess the head shakes have now gone to Zoroshio's job now. 
I was just I was trying to decide if I wanted to say my off color joke. <laughs> so so I did play mine a little bit today, uh, totally not at work, and uh, kind of mindlessly because I was I was on breaks and stuff like that at work. Got ten wins with Heel Zoo. Nice. Uh, went off five zero right away, and then it start once. And then I lost to some major tryhard decks and was five and two. And then it was like I got matched up against all the two lost people, and there were just some crazy. Just I don't know what they were playing decks. Uh, some of them I thought were Whizbang. Then I saw cards in there that wouldn't even be in Whizbang decks, and I'm like, what are you even doing? Uh, I, somebody actually played an Agro Druid. Nice. I haven't seen Agro Druid in forever. And it had the heel. They put Light Wardens in it and uh, the Voodoo Doctors and the Happy Ghouls in see, Druid. See, there's a there's a weird spiteful deck going around somewhere. I've seen, a, seen it a couple times. And I know Zalay was playing with it where he made a spiteful heel splinter graft. That um, might have been was a druid. Dru- druid. Yeah. With that might have been what I was playing yeah. against. So, but I don't know. I, yeah. So I don't. So yeah. It's. I mean, like, it had me on the ropes, but I was able to out attrition it. Uh, eventually, it had uh, greedy sprites in it, but he didn't get the greedy sprites till like turn nine. Yeah. It was it was pretty rough on him. Uh, whatever the deck was trying to do, it it didn't do it. But obviously, he had a good number of wins, or he wouldn't be matched against me. Mm-hmm. All right. So speaking of you playing in the tavern brawl, the, the brawl to see them, uh, we're going to do that with our deck this week. Yeah. And our deck this week is is uh, the the version that we're using is Tice's version. That uh, most of them are pretty much the same version now, but this is the one that that myself and Matt at Arms found through Tice. And it's the Mechathune Priest. Now, this is not the one with, um, with the uh, the quest. This is just a pure Mechathune Priest, uh, using just the barns and the combo and lots of draw. So, uh, barns. not barns. Uh, you mean Hemet. Hemet. Yeah. Sorry, Hemet and the combo, and using lots and lots of draw. So, do we want to go ahead and go over that? Uh, give me just one second. I actually, uh, got it all loaded up everywhere except for in the show. <laughs> you were next to the ball. I was. Like, I'd say was you like, were on the ball, but you're, but you're, you're, you're next to it. The ball's rolling <laughs> away, though. The ball's yeah, rolling the ball away. is rolling away. <laughs> it's going down the hill. It's, you're going to have to jump the fence. Voila! Cross the track. Voila! There, there it is. There's the I don't know what you're talking about. It was there all along. All right. So uh, now we this deck good. list consists of two Circle of Healing, one Silence, two Northshire Cleric, two Power Word Shield, uh, Blood Mage Thalnos, two Divine Hymn, two Loot Hoarder, two Radiant Elemental, two Shadow Visions, two Spirit Lash, Two Wild Pyromancer, two Acolyte of Pain, two Ticking ab- Abominations, stumbled, uh, one Reckless Experimenter, one Coffin Crasher, Hammett, Jungle Hunter, two Psychic Screams, and of course, Mechathune. So, uh, Matt, why don't you take us through how this deck plays? Sure. So, this deck is all about staying alive, staying alive. Staying alive, drawing Hemet on six, blowing up your deck, and then staying alive, staying alive, staying alive, and then dropping the combo on ten. Um, any later than that, you'll probably lose. Um, so why is this deck not called Saturday Night Fever? It should be, uh, quite okay. honestly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're, da- uh, no, we're aging like, ourselves uh, here. Seriously, but the mulligan for this deck is seriously North, keep North Shock Cleric and keep Hemet. Everything else you you pitch. Uh, it's pretty simple, and like I said, it's pretty much stay alive as long as you can until you can pull off the combo, which we discussed last week, which was 
the Reckless Experimenter, Coffin Crasher, make sure you play that first, and the two mm -hmm. ticking A-bombs, and then make sure you have nothing in your hand and hit the end turn button and win. Yeah, one thing I learned with this deck, and I played this very extensively uh, right after the launch of the set, um, is that if you're feeling like really pressured, like your opponent's really about to push, but you can pull a Hemet and in the last one turn, you're going to clear most of the cards in your deck and start drawing into the remaining five, four, maybe three cards left of your combo, which also includes the uh, Psychic Screams. And if you can Psychic Scream the next two turns to clear the last bit of the cards out of your hand, and that you'll pretty much survive at that point. Uh, yeah. Sometimes you have to be mindful. The, the hard part's not pulling off the combo. It's making sure you're hand and deck is prepared for you to do the combo Correct. um so you you might have to stagger in uh you know to do the psychic scream and and couple it with a divine hymn even if you're max health just so you get that card out of your hand yeah. however you, as long as you have enough health to worry about the fatigue you don't have to play the blood mage thanos uh or the loot hoarders because you, those will be reduced to zero cost when you do the combo, and you can throw them out after the ticking abominations. Mind you, you will take that fatigue damage, so if you're at only one or two health, you probably won't win that game. Yeah, actually, I've been the more I've played this deck, and the more, like, if I haven't drawn Hemet yet, Shadow Visions is super key with this deck. Mm -hmm. And if I'm pulling Shadow Visions, I'm looking for Spirit Lash, especially yes. versus a wide board. If I pull a Psychic Scream off Shadow Visions, I'm losing, quite honestly. Because, yeah, like, two Psychic Screams is enough in this deck. So Yeah, um, there have been a very few, very rare cases that I needed that third Psychic Scream, specifically against very sticky boards, like, uh, you know, a Egg Hunter mm -hmm. or some of the Paladins, because... Clearing those boards, they're likely just going to pop right back up with something in their place. So you having the third in those cases sometimes is better than getting the Spirit Lash. But I'd say at least 90% of the time you want the Spirit Lash or at least a Divine Hymn to get a big burst of heal. Yeah, and even if you have to like drop Hemet or whatever into their deck on the board when you Psychic Scream, that's fine. You don't care. As long as it's out of your hand and out of your deck. So yep. that's that's a question I've got. Um, Hemet, so like you can see, you know, Hemet removes or destroys all cards of three or less that mm -hmm. remain in your deck. So, mm -hmm. and you can see, like, almost two thirds of this deck is three or less cards. So, if you don't have Hemet in your collection, what is an alternative? A different deck. Okay. Well, <laughs> I know I had seen versions of this running Awaken the Makers. Yeah. yeah. Yes. There I mean, is a version of this that does use the quest, and mainly what it does is it uses Dead Ringers to pull more of the... Uh, not, well, no, it is Dead Ringer, because that'll pull yeah. your Mecha through now. Was it Dead Ringer? No, it does. Is... Yeah, it's a two -one, yeah, it's the 2-1 two -one, the two -one, uh, Priest... Death Rattle card? Yeah, it pulls out all your combo pieces. Yeah, it pulls out... There, there's it's, some something in it that that uh, lets you draw faster. Vivid Nightmares in there. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. A few other things. It's, it's a it, different list, and it plays differently. Yeah. Um, it does have a lot of draw, but it's more... Let your opponent beat on you, and then you can throw Amara down, you go all the way up to 40, and you're just trying to... Give them Five. 70 points of damage to go through before you can whittle your deck down and get the combo. The problem with that deck is you can get the combo out as, as fast as this deck. This deck, I've won right on turn 10, usually turn 11. But but in the cases that you do go that fast, sometimes Mechathune can be your last death rattle you need for the quest. And then it gives you... Amara, and then you don't win the game because you have Amara in your hand. Yeah. So that's that's been the weakness of that deck. 
yeah, I played that. We played. We initially brought that deck into the, in, in discussion, but like I kept on losing games because of that. Yeah. Where I would like, okay, I pull off my combo and Mechathun's number the last one, and I have Amar in my hand and I lose. Yeah, so. a lot of pro players have had the same problem, and if you look at the win rates on uh, HS replay comparatively between this deck and that deck, this deck I think is sitting at like a forty-eight percent win rate overall, which is not bad considering it's a combo deck and there's a there's a big learning curve but the uh the wake and the makers version of this deck is like a 32 percent win rate it's significantly lower and has a lot more bad matchups it, yeah. it actually has no good matchups okay well cool well i am excited to uh actually watch you guys play this because I've not played this. I don't have him it. I actually went to try to build this deck and realized I was missing uh, the key card. So I didn't build it. And uh, I'm excited to see how it plays and learn a little bit about this deck as we as we go through it. Yeah, I cursed. I cursed the screen when I opened Hemet uh, back in the day. And now I'm glad I didn't dust him. <laughs> yeah, I actually... To, back on like okay, if you want to play some Mechathune, I think the your best bet for Mechathune, a Mechathune deck without Hemet would probably be even Warlock. Yes. Okay. Or the Druid version that runs uh, Gadgets and Auctioneer and all the one mana spells. Okay. Yeah, I well, there's an even Warlock and then there's one just a Warlock that's not even. They're yeah. both pretty. Much, it's a, kind of six to one, half a dozen to the other. They're both very similar. Uh, mm -hmm. But even Warlock can win without using Mechathune. Yeah, that's it's kind of. Much. It's just an even Warlock shell with a couple cards taken out and Mechathune, uh, the Mechathune cards put in, which are uh, Mechathune and uh, Blood Bloom, uh, Blood Bloom, Cataclysm, and two Cataclysm. and two uh, Galvanizers, so you can play it all in the same turn. Wow. Yeah, and it and it doesn't run Hemet because you're just going to draw through your deck with your hero power anyways. Okay. All right. Cool. So, all right, you guys have any last thoughts before we uh, move over to the play portion for this week? Zeroshio, we'll start with you. Yes, we have an event um, this weekend, Saturday, the 18th in Knoxville. We're having a, a Level Up tournament at Level Up Games, sponsored by them, as well as co-sponsored by Fade to Karma. We're going to be having a, a stream personality and pro player from Fade to Karma pair also in attendance at that tournament. Uh, it's a $5 entry if you're in the Knoxville area uh, with a minimum $50 prize. Uh, the prize will go up depending on attendance, but it's minimum $50. If you can't come out to the event, we will be streaming it on Level Up's, uh, a Level Up's stream, but we will be hosting it on this channel which is twitch.tv slash ecmmogamers. Uh, you can also go to heropowerhs.com and click on the stream link. Uh, we should be getting that stream about, I think, one started by 1 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, so, yeah, check us out. And myself and Versica will be casting that. Is that still correct? Along with uh, some Steven and his friend from Level Up will also be casting it as well. That is correct. We're going to have... Uh... Four streamers who will be rotating in and out so that these guys don't have to sit there all day by them, you know, doing this like Zeroshio and Versiga have done for the Hero Power patron tournaments. Yep. So, all right. Matt, you got anything you want to throw in there before we head out? No, I just want to thank you guys again for letting me sit in and while you have another co host that rotated into the Hall of Fame for a while. <laughs> um, <laughs> shout out to the patron. To the uh, Discord because it's always good and always uh, fun and yeah I'm yeah that's it. <laughs> awesome. All right, guys. So if you are joining us on Twitch or YouTube, please stay tuned for the live play portion of our show. If you are listening via the audio podcast, we'd like to thank you for joining us. Remember, you can follow us on Twitter at Hero Power underscore Cast. You can find all of our past episodes on YouTube at youtubecom gamers or on our website at HeroPowerHS.com. If you enjoy the show and you'd like to help support and improve it, you can do so by joining our Patreon at patreon.com slash HeroPower. And we'll see you all again next week. And don't forget to use your Hero Power. All right.
right, gentlemen, while I am firing up uh, Hearthstone, I guess, uh, uh, gosh, let's see. I want this. I'm going to take this moment while you're getting set up to okay. rant. They need to put in an in client favorites. You can do it in the Battle.net client, but you should be able to take some favorites and put them at the top of your friends list so that you have easy access to them. Yeah, I hate dragging my name, my thing all the way down to find your name. I know. I'm always, I, I want people to be able to put me at the top. My name starts with a Z. I don't want to be A3650 <laughs> just to be everybody's top of their friends list. <laughs> But he's probably not at the top of everybody's friend list. There could be an A123. Oh, just fair. You know, <laughs> I'm going to make that tomorrow. All right, Matt. You just let us know when you are heading in and have an opponent. I am in, and I have an opponent. Opponent, And it looks like a, it looks like a rogue. I rogue. cannot spectate you. Why not? I spectated him. Oh, I'll bet I know why. Are you in the wrong account again? No, no, I'm in the right account, but I'm I'm marked as offline. So. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so I got a psychic scream, a sh ticking a bomb, and a shadow visions. Like I said in the, pre in the first half of the show, I'm just gonna pitch all three and uh, see if I can get something else. All right, and and for everybody, once we get this up, you'll see it. We are doing the Brawlicium. We're not going to run the full run. We'll just do about two, three games. And it's an uh, odd rogue. Ooh, this is a tough matchup for this because they just have so much burst. But we do have the Divine Hymns. That'll be some much-needed heal. Yeah, if I can shadow visions into the uh, Spirit Lashes, I think I'll be in a, I'll be in decent shape. Oh yeah, and you can win this match. I have I have beaten Odd Rogue many times with this deck. Let's see if I can send you a thing. There we go. He yeah, he's getting in, fighting the spectate boss. <laughs> All right, Firefly. Okay, cannot spectate. So, why? We have been previously removed from spectating. I think when he went to invite you, he might have hit the boot. Yeah. See if you can send me another invite. Sure. I'm going to drop the loot hoarder. There we go. Yeah, I like the loot hoarder drop here. It's it's, it's clearly going to be a weapon down, but that's, that's fine. We want to draw off it anyways. We did draw into the wild pyromancer, which is going to be is some huge. more needed clear. Yeah. If we can get into the... Uh, uh, Northshire Cleric with the Circle of Healing in hand, we might actually get a draw engine going. There's a Shadow Visions. Shadow Visions. And a Hemet. Nice. And Hemet. We're going to probably want Hemet on six here if we can possibly pull it off. Yeah, so I'm thinking Shadow Visions. Maybe pull the Spirit Lash. Hopefully pull the Spirit Lash. That would be a good one. Or, well... Let me read I, I, would, I would have even taken a Powered Shield... Uh, I'm almost thinking silence. Yeah, I think the clan. silence might get value from the Hench Clan, and if we can draw into the Circle of Healing uh, to the Northshire Cleric, we can while well, Pyromancer silence Circle of Healing get some crazy draw. Yeah, well, Fledgling's just as good. That's as just as too. good. Yeah. The Northshire. So Cleric I'm going to. Awesome. So. Oh. I'm going to drop the loot hoarder. I'm, I'm thinking dropping the pyro and silencing and just healing the pyro. That's fair. So that we have something on board to contest and we do a little bit of chip damage to his minions. And you have to remember if you use Spirit Lash while the pyro is only at one health, you won't get the second burst of damage from the pyro. Correct. That's a mistake I've made a few times. Yeah, just heal that up. It's probably going to get removed by his weapon anyway, but that's fine. Yeah. We want we want him to feel like he has to remove it with his weapon. We want him to use that weapon. Salsi, okay. Okay, Salsi will probably Play run in. If he he's gonna Edwin me. 
Ooh, and we used our silence. That's all right. I've got enough shadow visions. I'm okay with that. Uh, you mean enough divine hymns? No, I mean I got I got that silence off shadow vision, so I still have it. Oh yeah, yeah, that's silence right. in my deck. And we just topped yeah. the other shadow vision, so. So yep. that's an easy, easy plan. Spirit last circle. Yeah. Well, we can't double spirit last this turn, but we really no silence. We could probably last a turn. Yeah. Take so I'm thinking the only option is uh, psychics too slow here. Yeah, I mean, if we if we had time to hem it next turn, psychic the following turn, then I'd say yeah. But I don't know if we'll have that time. Actually, psychic actually does make sense here because we can if we survive two turns, we can psychic this board no matter what the state of it is. That's true. I mean, so let me true. let me do the psychic scream. Do we want to do move. one spirit lash now? If you spirit lash now, you remove three damage from the board. That's not. Great, in yeah. my opinion. Okay. I think I'm just going to heal face and pass. Because we can spirit, we spirit lash and double divine him if we have to next turn, and then follow yeah. it up by psychic screen. Fungal. Yeah, this is going to look, this is going to be a nice fun psychic screen if we live to it. Yeah, that's going to be, how much is even on the board? 13. Five, uh, yeah, it's a lot. 21, 23 with the weapon. We yeah. can heal out of that, but. Yeah, let's see what we can do here. Spirit Lash, Divine and, Him. I think we I, double Divine. Yeah, I we, agree. We were, healing Face would only put us to 19, and he'd have that. It's still going to be very close, though, because 13. If he, if he has Leroy or anything, any type of 20, burst, He's got 22 with weapon right now. So if he has anything... We're dead. There's no way for us to, because he could kill us yep. next There's turn with Leroy. weapon. Yeah. Even if we could psychic scream, he'd kill us next turn with weapon. So yep. that is a tough matchup. It is a very tough matchup. This zoo and like anything, well, it's a combo deck. Anything that's remotely tempo aggro. Yeah. Is zoo is a little easier. I have a higher win rate against zoo than I do the odd room. Yeah, and even paladin, I just wreck even paladin with this deck or odd paladin. I'm sorry. Yeah, out paladin, you just you, yeah, you destroy it. Now there is a new even paladin list that I've seen that uh, is very mech, mech centric, and uh, I haven't played it with this deck, so I don't know. James 007, it's your secret agent. So yeah, so we're up against the priest, and I think I'm just going to pitch this whole hand again. Is there any merit to keeping Shadow Visions to get draw potential? Yeah. Oh, no. There's the other Psychic screen. Yeah. But that's some draw potential there. Odd Anyways. Priest. What? Okay. Wait. What? What? Yeah. So I, oh, it's Quest... Oh, that's fine. He can. This, this guy hopefully should be really slow. Quest, uh, he should be, and he probably has. Uh, oh, the guy that takes your stuff. I'm just gonna redo the shadow visions. I think. Yeah, we don't have a cheap minion to power word shield, or I'd say power word shield. Who's who's the the guy that reshuffles your deck? Reshuffles. Oh, Alec. Huh? No, it shuffles their deck into your deck. Oh, uh, Benedictus. Benedictus, that's it. All right, so Radiant Elemental is interesting here. We could so, Radiant Elemental into Shadow Visions into Power Shield. I like that. There this it is. is. Yep. And do we want to silence could, that 3-1? We might want to silence it because he's going to get a death right off that. And we'd rather him not do that. Not this early, at least. Slow him down as much as we can to buy ourselves some time. Acolyte of Pain is a really good draw. That's fine, because anything he puts off, pulls off of... It's odd that he used Twilight's Call with only one minion dead. He must not have 
hardly anything in his hand. So I'm thinking just Acolyte, Power Word Shield, the uh, 2 4, 2 2. Uh, do we Power Word Shield the, the, the Radiant? Two -two, or do we, do we Circle of Healing? Yes, we, we can save a Circle of Healing for Draw. Yeah. Okay. Well, there's the other Psychic Scream. It's fine. We'll so use we just it. Pop it down yeah, or go face? Pop it. Man, there's no need to go face. Well, I'm going face. It removes the other Twilight. The, twi the, the other Twilight's callback. So you get, it doesn't get two back. Well, we're honestly not really... We don't care if he brings down Amara. We're probably going to end up Psychic Screaming Amara anyways. Yeah. We really want to get to him it. All right, so let's draw then. Yep. Draw, draw, draw. Shadow Not Visions drawing. is is good. Another powered shield. Sure. I don't think we're gonna need Spirit Lash here. There's the boss. Uh huh. We're in there. Just. Yep. Here, have my deck. Go ahead. We do we do want to be careful with our draws for uh acolyte because it can be a detriment. Yeah, what do we but have? We're, we have five we're cards, not, we're at six cards. We yeah. might end up having to throw a circle of healing just to heal it. Ooh. Okay. So his stuff's gonna be cheap now. I say I hate wasting a psychic stream on this, but I don't, why don't we just Psychic Scream once they dump out their hand? That's true. You know what I mean? Because he's probably going to vomit out a bunch of Death Rattles and we just Psychic Scream it. Do we uh, trade here? Or just go face? Uh, I think we just go face. Matters. Let him do the trading. And, and One, let's work clear on something. Yeah. One tip I can kind of give you... Uh, if you're playing this on ladder or even in this, if you're up against an even warlock, healing their face is an amazing game plan because it just yes. turns off their. Oh, that's that's a nice thing to psychic scream away. Yeah. Now this probably will definitely be a psychic scream term. The question is, do we want to give him a radiant elemental? Do we think it'll water him down enough? Well, I can, I can destroy it, so it's not no big deal. So, okay, do we really need... Yeah, I'm not, I, the only thing I'm afraid of is inner fire. Well, here's my thing, is we can trade into Radiant into the Reckless, and while Pyro silence, we, we drew a silence, didn't we? Uh, I used it. Oh, yeah, that's right, you used it. So I'm thinking, I'm oh. thinking we just, I don't know, I'm not... Terribly scared of this. So, part of me is like, well, he won't have divine spirit because it's it's odd. Well, he might go off of Lyra. Well, yeah, he might. Yeah, that, that's true. So I'm thinking, we'd better be safe than sorry here. We've got to worry about our. So go ahead and just psychic like scream. Yeah, go yeah. fake. I that works too. Either way, I I probably wouldn't want to give him a radiant elemental too. So that's probably smart. I would have liked to gotten more value off of it, but yeah, this will only have the two psychic screams. There's no way to get more. We really want to get into Hemet soon. If we get into Hemet this turn, we'll have two more draws left. Wow. Okay, so he has Amara now. Great, that's fine. He's at 28. He's not going to use it. Yeah. Well, he can... um, we need to get something out of our hand, but we don't want to spirit lash this. We're at full health, right? I think we just pyro circle. I like that. He's going to go up to... He's going to fill his hand. Yeah. He'll burn, burn something. And heal pyro? Yeah. Here, have my deck. There's... Yeah, I well. mean, all he's going to have is draw stuff in there. He might get him at Kaboom Bot. Okay. Kaboom Bot. Nice. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Well, now There's our Benedictus. But he doesn't have Mechathun. 
Nope. He will, he will not get Mechathune. And we got Mechathune early enough that he didn't get it off any of his uh, crystalline uh, oracles either. Yeah. <clears throat> All now right. we need to thinner. We I might have to circle a healing just to get a card out of our hand. I agreed. And I'm not terribly threatened by that. Uh... No, me neither. We need to get more draw. Heal his face. <laughs> Because his health does not matter. Nope, he could have 100,000 health. <laughs> he knows what we're up to. Well, we hope so. Oh, well, there's my... And blood it's mage. My, it's my blood mage. And yep. my Yaku. Uh, ooh. And a, ooh. Ooh. We, ooh. We can burn him again. So we can make him draw four cards. Yeah. Actually, we can make him draw... Five cards. Yeah. So I'm thinking Divine Him with the Pyro. Yeah. Then we'll have to heal the Pyro. And then Spirit Lash. Of course, I mean, what are we burning? He's got 29 oh, cards okay. in his deck. <laughs> Divine Him. Oh, there's Power Replicate. That's a good burn. <laughs> Divine him is not Shadow Power Death. 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 Shadow Death's not a big deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do it some more. Do it some more. <laughs> more draw. More draw. <laughs> ah, we use those circle of healings already. Oh, uh, what a game. This game is awesome. <laughs> uh, Baku. I might actually just scream this board. Uh, I don't know if it's threatening enough yet. Yeah, true. I mean, I don't think we need the Radiant. Well, yeah, that, I mean, it only draws them to nine, but. I mean, Durania's not going to give me anything, but. We eventually got to get it out of our hand. Yeah. Maybe, it'll force us, maybe it'll force him to make a trade. Yeah, he'll save me four damage. Yeah. I kind of want him to kind of overextend him. We need Hemet badly. Because the, only thing, cause the yeah. only thing we're missing is our deck gone. And uh, we haven't got any loot hoarders. Oh my gosh, this is rough. See, that saved me four damage. It was a good, good play. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I took that. Wait, we don't have a way to kill that. Uh, I hate psychic screaming this, but we might need to. We'll get a draw off this at least. Yep. So I'm just going to scream this. There's a loot hoarder. Yeah, I think we have to because we're dead on board, right? Mm -hmm. There you go. Have yeah. some cards. Not, not drawing him, it really annoys me, quite honestly. Yeah, yeah. And we haven't had any of our fast draw. It's all just been kind of spot draw. Okay. Has any death rattles died? Yeah, they have the the oracle. So he got an oracle. Now that's our draw. We're supposed to be drawing that. Please be Hemet. One in ten for Hemet, not Hemet. No, fine. I'm just gonna play Double the two loot hoarders, heal my face, yep. and go. Yeah, we draw Hemet, we win the next turn. Yeah. First, now we'll get some watered down cards so we won't win the next turn. Velen, no. Oh, no, Velen. No, this is bad. Okay. Blood Mage, okay. Spirit, Spirit Lash. Hey, that's heal me up a little bit. We just Blood Mage Spirit Lash. Unless we draw, draw something. Some card as well. Yeah. And it'll get us an extra additional. Well, he doesn't. He doesn't have mind blast. He doesn't have anything. No. Why would he have Velen in the deck? It's odd, and he needs cards in there for the healing. Maybe it's healing. Can't have Mechathune in the deck. Oh, well. Ah, we can't heal. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we can heal that way. Howard Shield. 
Hemet's gonna be your last. There he is. We got. So wait, what? wait. So, What's... so since we drew Hemet, does that mean we need to go ahead and divine him just to get it out of our hand? I want to use it next turn because we can use Hemet and then divine him the next turn. Okay. Hopefully, we draw the reckless experimenter and not the acolyte of pain because the acolyte of pain will be a problem. Yeah. I okay. Does, this is how you get Mechathuned. Do you want to get Mechathuned? Yeah. <laughs> Please be Experimenter. Yeah, we want Experimenter here. He's using all of our draw against us. <laughs> yes. Yes. So, him so and, divide and him, and we win next turn unless he pulls Rabbit out of his hat. I mean, he has a lot of damage on the board. He has nineteen points of damage. Nineteen, but does he have any burst? Did he get? Did he get? Did he get extremely lucky off Lyra? That's my question. Because that's twenty yeah. damage mind blast. He does have two profit felons. That's scary. It's twenty. It's like I said. It's a twenty down. Don't. It's a twenty damage Wait, mind blast. Hol holy smite. Holy smite is eight. Oh, yeah, holy no, but no smite. Not to kill us, is it? Oh, oh, it is. oh, no, it is. Don't tell me the, the win condition is holy nova in this deck. There's no way that's got to be the well, there's no way that's a win condition. It's, it's not. Well, he, he's running that. He's also running mind blast. No, he oh, can't yeah. run mind blast. Or, or, okay, even. yeah, you're right. It's probably uh, smite. Uh, I've seen this deck get played, and I saw a guy do uh, like. 28 points of damage burst in one turn. That was extremely unlucky by us, by the way. That is not a normal operation. So it's, it's 8.30. You guys want to play one more game? I'm already queuing up, so why not? Alright. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this deck, and there's a huge learning curve. Uh, this is definitely not a, a just jump into it deck to play. And the hard part is not the combo. The hard part is getting yourself to the combo state with all the cards out of your hand and your, and your deck drawn properly. Yeah, if I was better at this game, I'd draw Hemet. So I like keeping he Hemet in my hand against Mage. Yeah, same here. So like, I'm just tossing the scream, I think. It keeps the North Shark Cleric, though, right? Yep. Okay, good. Because Ooh, if it is... Ooh, good. If it is tempo and we put it out turn one, he won't want to put out a mana worm or anything. Yeah. If it's control, it might stick on the board long enough to get some value. Yeah, we would have won that game if Hemet was in the bottom or in the top half of our deck as opposed to... If, if Hemet was in the middle of cards. our deck. <laughs> yeah. It was the second to the last card in our deck. Oh, no, third to last. Yeah, that's right. That's why there's, you know, if... Okay, Frostbolt. Frost okay. Well, we, we used a coin and Frostbolt. So, and, it, and this turn, he's going to ping it. So, that's another turn that he basically passes. Yeah. So, is it the, is, do you think this is Tempo Mage? I think so. Yeah. Frostbolt's just about only ran in Tempo. Ooh. Mirror. Okay. Well, this might be the Luna deck. Okay. That's fine. Let's bang one of those off. Yeah. Keeps us from drawing. There's no telling what that secret is. It could be explosive runes. If it's explosive runes, we draw a card. Yeah. I don't hate that. Not explosive runes. It's not okay. mirror entity. It's not Should du not duplicate. That's well, duplicate in a while, but yeah. That's right. It's why is it showing up on my list trackable stuff? Oh, this is only standard. I don't know why. Oh, it's because we're in brawl. That's why. Okay. Yeah. What? Where am ice? I? What is Ice Walker doing? Freeze me? Divine that... His divine hands aren't going to do much. No, this but deck... he's eventually going to have to do some damage to us. Yeah. Vex uh -oh. Crow. 
Uh oh. That's fine. He doesn't have a one mana spell. Blood Mage just to get it out so we can draw? Or do we want to save it for if he gets things off Vexchrome, we can couple it with Spirit Lash? I like saving, holding on to the Spirit Lash. It's it's turn six. We're not dead yet, so it's Hemet time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot we had Hemet in the hand. So we have four cards left in our deck. Yeah. And we have four turns, so we get the ten. So this works out. As long as Psychic Scream isn't the bottom card in our deck, we should be fine. Yeah. So we need to. This is the point where we we want to focus on getting any non combo piece or psychic scream out of our hand. And also, right now, like the spirit lash is going to heal him even more for the more he's going to. Yeah, we we want a spirit lash on turns eight and nine. Yeah. So this turn is clearly going to be. I think it's just divine him. Or do we scream? Do you want to scream here? I. No, I don't want to scream here. I want I, I want to scream on eight and nine. I think we either Divine Spirit or Divine Him. Divine Him? Where's Divine Spirit? I mean, Divine Spirit clears two minions off the board. And, he and means we Spirit could, Lash. Yeah, that's yeah. what I meant. Spirit Lash. We, we could couple it with Blood Mage Thanos, but we could just say Blood Mage Thanos for the end. We can, we can Spirit Lash this board. It'll kill, kill two minions. Or we can... I think I want to get a little. I almost want to get a little greedy here. Okay, so just just divine him. Divine him. Yeah. Okay. We need to do something. And, oh, that gets rid of the counter spell, which is. Oh, good, 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 good. So, so now use the others divine him. <laughs> no, I think we just divine him and. Yeah. Go. Just because we need to get cards out of our hand now. Yeah, yeah. That's the I, that's the part that that to me that gets hard is getting the cards out of your hand. Yeah. Which blood mage we don't have to as long as we won't die from the fatigue. We want to draw spear, uh, a psychic scream this turn. Oh, wow, you got arugula. So I'm, I'm afraid of a counter spell again. So do we spirit lash the test for, for counter spell? I think so. We don't need a blood mage, do we? Well, I guess we could steer it. The... So it's not counter spell. Nope. And I just healed up, which is even better. And we're guaranteed to draw Psychic Scream next ah. turn. Yeah. So we're going to win this on turn 11. Yeah. So, so we have Psychic Scream, then Psychic Scream. Ooh, we have a problem. No, no, we didn't get... There wasn't Explosive Runes. Okay, I was worried about Explosive Runes. Explosive Runes on Reckless Experimenter wrecks us, too. Yeah, the fact that we didn't get... Um, what's it called? Uh, counterspelled makes me feel better. Yeah. So psychic scream. Easy psychic scream here. He has no cards in hand, so he can't really yep. do more than ten damage out of hand, and he's at nine mana, no. so he won't have. Only thing that's going to hurt us is if he gets explosive runes, because it'll kill our reckless, and then we're we can't we can't win. Did we check for explosive runes? Oh, with yeah, uh, we did. We did. Like you mage. did with, with blood mage. Yeah, you were you 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 did it uh, without thinking, which is very smart. So we psychic scream this, and barring a explosive runes, we win next turn. No explosive runes. Draw that, draw that card you just pulled, dropped in there. It's probably vaporize and ice barrier. Okay. Doesn't want to play it. All right, it's fine. All right, so we have we do reckless experimenter first, followed by coffin crasher. Mirror entity, it's fine. He can have that. Then we do the ticking abominations last. You have to do it in that order, or you it won't go off properly. So when when you end your turn, Mechathun will get pulled by coffin crashers. Then it'll take ten damage total, and you win. Boom. 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 So much better than Uther's animation. Yeah. So much better. Nice. Hey, 10 gold. All right, so I won one. That's awesome. Really happy to see it, it come out <laughs> that way on the show. We actually got to see it happen. Yep, yep. So, I, I don't know if we've ever done a combo 
deck on the show where we didn't at least get it to go off once. Once, yeah. Didn't you? I think against Rod, didn't you? Um, didn't he have um, with or with Rod? Didn't he do combo? Um, the OTK <laughs> Paladin. Yes. Did he? Did he? Pull, I don't. I can't remember if he pulled it off or not. I believe he. Oh, I believe he had it. Yeah, but the, the, the opponent conceded. Oh, that's so right. We, yeah. we at least had it and was about to do it. Yeah. yeah. So, all right, well, there you go. Mechathun Priest is a lot of fun. Uh, as you can see, it is a lot of work to get it to go off, but when it does go off, uh, as Rocio said, it's a pretty cool animation. So, And it has a very high skill cap to play it, but not nearly as high as APM Priest, which basically you have to be dog to pilot it correctly <laughs> if, you're, if it's APM Priest. Well... This deck, you can at least you can at least not have to be dog. <laughs> I think I think the APM priest simulator is a lot more fun than actually playing APM priest. <laughs> I'm not even trying it. I'm not. <laughs> I, it, I'm too old. I'll forget where I'm at. I won't know what I had for dinner. It just nah, it just doesn't work out. <laughs> All right, gang. I believe that's gonna do it for us this week. If you have any questions or comments about the show, please email us at HeroPowerPodcast at gmail.com. If you haven't done so, hit that subscribe button below on YouTube. Give us a follow on Twitch to be alerted when we go live. And for more details on our Patreon, check out patreon.com slash HeroPower. Until next week, good gaming. Bye, guys. I'm heading back to Azeroth. See ya. Don't let your bet deck betray you.